हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर यशवी शेदाय फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एंड दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर एट फ्रॉम जी टू जीरो सिक्स ओके नाउ लेट सी द मेथड्स ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस कूलिंग ओके देर आर सेवरल टाइप्स ऑफ मेथड्स ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस कूलिंग दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन कन्वेक्शन और फोर्स्ड एयर मूवमेंट विथ और विदाउट इवेपोरेशन ऑफ द वॉटर आर अवेलेबल फॉर कूलिंग ऑफ द ग्रीन हाउस ओके नाउ यू नो दैट कन्वेक्शन इट इज द मोड ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर एंड दैट ऑकर्स इन जनरली लिक्विड्स एंड गैसेस ओके नाउ द फर्स्ट मेथड इज दैट वेंटिलेशन विथ रूफ एंड साइड वेंटिलेटर्स ओके इन दिस अरेंजमेंट देर इज अ प्रोविजन ऑफ टॉप वेंटिलेटर्स विथ रोलेबल कर्टन्स ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर here is the provision of top ventilator and uh, here is the rollable curtain arrangement okay now what happen in this case the hot air from the greenhouse is removed from the top ventilators and it is replaced by the ambient air from the sides ambient air means atmospheric air okay for example whatever the hot air present in the greenhouse that is removed from this top ventilators We, you know that hot air is lighter in weight so it moves upward direction okay so it is removed from this top ventilator okay and this hot air is replaced by the atmospheric or at uh, ambient air through this side ventilators okay after that this ambient air absorb the heat whatever the heat present in the greenhouse and becomes hot and again moves towards the upward direction and removed through the top ventilators now there are some dimensions the top ventilators are having the depth of about 0.621 meter whereas the side curtains has the width of about 1.5 to 3 meter depending upon the column height okay and the ventilation area should be at least 20% of the floor area for the effective ventilation okay and generally such type of structures is described as a naturally ventilated structures okay and the air movement of st uh, such structure is affected by the temperature difference between inside and outside and the wind has also considerable effect on air movement okay then the cooling system of naturally ventilated structure cannot be designed precisely because the temperature difference and wind are highly variable okay that's not in our hand okay then uh, the correct placement of top ventilators and proper greenhouse orientation will have the partial control over the temperature inside the greenhouse okay if we want to control at least partial uh, control over the temperature then in this case you should uh, focus on the orientation of the greenhouse okay now the next method of cooling that is roof shading partially shading is used to reduce the intensity of sunlight in the cropped area and shading can be done by two methods first one that is application of white wash and uh, second one that is shading the screen okay so in case of application of white wash uh, application of white wash with any white material like dis temper or lime over the glazing material is comparatively and a less expensive method and uh, such a paint washes off by itself by the rain okay for example okay this is the application of white wash here so we can reduce the share so we can increase the shading effect okay now the next method in this case that is shading screen okay it can be used for a part of growing season or a specific level of shade is required and the material may be made up of pp polypropylene pe polyethylene or a polyester with different grades of shades like 20% 25 35 50 75 90% etc for example here here is the use of the shade net okay like this then next system Uh, method of cooling that is evaporative cooling
Because when there is a low temperature, then there is an increase in relative humidity. Okay. Now, uh, first method in evaporative cooling system that is fan and pad system. Okay. And uh, it is adaptable to both large and small greenhouses. And in this system, low velocity and large volume of fans draw the air through the wet fibrous pads mounted on the opposite side or end wall of the greenhouse. And the outs outside air is cooled uh, to 3 to 12 degrees Celsius depending upon the sunlight intensity, relative humidity and the amount of shading compound is applied in the greenhouse. The pad can be made up of uh, material like gravel, straw, wood, fiber, khus or uh, honeycomb, paper, charcoal etc. And most of the greenhouse will require about 1 meter of pad height for every 20 meter of pad to fan distance. Okay, And uh, pad design should provide at least 6 liter water per minute per running meter of the pad system of 1 meter height okay so in this is the fan pad cooling system and here is the provision of evaporative pad and when the hot air is passed through this pad what happens this pad is continuous in contact with water okay there is a uh, there is a system of or arrangement of water distribution and throughout is uh, water is passes through this uh, pad okay so it is continuously in contact with the water so whenever the uh, hot ambient air is passes through this pad it becomes cools and uh, uh, so that cool air comes inside the greenhouse and it absorbs the heat from the greenhouse and that uh, that hot air is finally uh, exited through this fan okay now here due to continuous watering pad accumulates salts sag and thus create openings that allow the hot air to enter the greenhouse okay so the efficient pad material is honeycomb cellulose paper but it is very costly so placement of exhaust fans uh, also affects the distribution of cooled air and they should not be located more than 9 meter apart otherwise warm areas will develop and a fan should be placed on the side against the direction of prevailing wind okay and thermostatically operated uh, fan pad system is desirable for uniform and uh, automatic control of the temperature okay now the next system of evaporative cooling system that is high pressure mist system in this system water is spread into the air above the plants okay with the pressure of about 35 to 70 kg per centimeter square from low capacity nozzles of about 1.9 to 2.8 micron meter okay misting system is also called as fogging system also there is a provision of foggers with a different capacity of nozzles okay according to the requirement and uh, this misting system and uh, fan and pad evaporative cooling system those both types are comes under active active summer cooling system okay now in a high pressure mist system or fogging system a fine mist fills the greenhouse atmosphere and uh, cooling the air as it evaporates okay although most of the mist evaporates before reaching the plant level okay and some of the water settles on the foliage where uh, where it reduces the leaf temperature okay and the temperature di difference uh, that is about 5 to 14 degree celsius and uh, can be up obtained between high pressure mist and fan cooled greenhouse okay and it is more effective during the warmest part of the day the next system is that low pressure system and it is the last cooling system in this case misting with the water pressure less than 7 kg per centimeter square have achieved the air temperature that is about 5 degree celsius cooler in a greenhouse compared to the natural ventilation okay and the water droplets 
from a low pressure misting system are quite large so they do not evaporate quickly and leaching of the nutrients from the soil is a serious drawback by using this technique low pressure mill system okay now this uh, uh, here all the all the cooling systems are completed here so thank you for listening